Good morning and welcome to this 2010 Census National Partner Briefing. The purpose of today's partner briefing is truly to help you understand how to accomplish this count. This is actually my first duty as Secretary of Commerce. Uh, I was confirmed by the Senate last week, came into Washington, D.C. late last night. Instead of going uh, to the Department of Commerce this morning, I came here. Mr. Secretary, I think your presence speaks volumes about the importance of the census to you and to the nation. While the clock is ticking, Census Day, April 1st, 2010, is fast approaching. So as we conclude the planning phase and we now launch address canvassing, we begin the operational phase. That phase runs uh, right through next year when we will have six or 700,000 workers in the field, another 340 or so offices open, and we will be conducting the census. I would now like to introduce our media panelists this morning. Some of them are gonna talk to us about best practices when communicating with their respective audiences. Our strategy is pretty simple, and the reason why it is is that uh, we have a lightning rod, um, which is uh, relevant to all people, and that's entertainment. Could we anticipate that you will use personalities and entertainers to say to people, the census is important? Absolutely. We are joining back with our coalition of community organizations, national and local, all our media properties, our three television networks, the radio company, and our interactive mobile uh, Univision Online to make sure that we encourage and motivate our community to participate in the census. Online, e-blast, again, Twitter, all of it. Get involved and fill out those census pieces. I mean, that's all a part of the media and part of print. So in, in your case, when you're thinking about doing this outreach, you intend to make use of the internet. Absolutely. One of the things that we are uh, working on for the census is actually incorporating the messages with our Every View Counts to put it's in your hands the tagline for this 2010 census. As uh, Secretary Lock mentioned, stressed that this, uh, this time the census will be fast and easy and it's also confidential. Asians or Chinese uh, don't usually tend to participate because they tend to reserve in themselves. They do things, but they just don't want to be acknowledged. <laughs> The census is one of the greatest, most important stories of our time. We're going to write the census stories, real life, into our entertainment. That's the first part of empowering and telling the story. We have started already a campaign on Azteca America television every day with our honor talent uh, from all sorts of uh, uh, the entertainment industry, from singers to uh, presenters and actors and news people, everybody telling the community that it's important to be counted. We are working with over a thousand national organizations. Uh, our focus is to try and reach the hard to count population. We know that there are many more national organizations out there and every day many more are contacting us uh, to participate in the census. We urge in every possible way for local communities to form complete count committees, both at the local, the tribal, and the community level. Your efforts to communicate census messages to your constituents is the key to achieving a complete and accurate count. You are the trusted and credible voices in the hard to count communities. We've invited partners today to serve on a panel and share in person with you some of their communication success stories. Each local Goodwill um, uh, CEO and leader is integrated into that community, uh, part of the business community, the not-for-profit community. Uh, we really think we, we uh, have that sweet spot, that intersection between uh, caring and enterprise. And by developing a strategy of common outreach, common messaging and recognizing where we have strength so that we avoid duplication of effort. We work with community-based organizations, organizations that we know have the trust 
of the communities in which they serve. If, the, if our people don't see the value, they've got this distrust of the federal government asking these kinds of questions, but they need to see the value. Why does it make a difference to them at home? And that's where we come in. Be counted, represent, and talk to your parents about it. And what we find is ultimately that these young people influence their parents in ways that we haven't seen before. How do we get past some of those obstacles? and getting people to participate. Well, they're making sure those enumerators are people from those local communities. The Census Bureau is putting in a lot of uh, resources uh, into trying to communicate uh, in at least, uh, a, I think, about a dozen of the Asian languages, formally only, uh, only three. So you can imagine how much more communicating there needs to be done. And it's best done by someone who comes from that community. It is a, a daunting task, the uh, nation's largest peacetime project. And I am absolutely committed to working with you to make this the most accurate census ever. I want to thank all of the census partners here today. Uh, the decennial census truly is a partnership effort. It's the Congress's intent that we make all funds necessary to make sure that this is the best count we've ever seen. And the partnership program is to make sure that we get the best bang for our buck and that we have trusted voices within the community that can actually uh, multiply the effect of our tax dollars. I hope you have found today's briefing to be informative and inspiring. And I hope you are motivated to use the messages, the resources, and the ideas we provided to engage your audience to fill out their 2010 census questionnaire.